Okay guys, rabbit update time. Look at that, huh? They're doing good, they're doing really good. Uh, I just want to address some of the questions from the last video. They weren't really more questions, they are more concerns. <laughs> some were a little bit more than a concern, some were downright rude and uh, unbelievable, but uh, the concerns, a lot of it's to do with the bottom. Hello buddy, look at him standing up. Uh, to do with uh, the chain link bottom. For whatever reason, people think, I don't know if they were thinking that this is going to be a suspended cage and then they're going to have to walk on the chain link. This is on the ground. You know, they're walking on the ground. Bigger the holes, the better. Now they're on, you know, their feet are actually touching the grass. <clears throat> In my opinion. <laughs> this is just my opinion on my rabbits. How you choose to raise your rabbits is your business. I think they're doing fine. Look at that. They're moving around no problem. Running back and forth. They're happy. They've already eaten the grass. I uh, moved this about an hour ago. I have food from inside, I'll show you that in a minute. I don't have much grass as you can see, so I have to supplement their food a lot. I give them uh, rabbit pellets at night, but during the day it's all greens. I get stuff from uh, from the garden, I get weeds from the yard, I, I get whatever I can, and right now you, I'll show you in a minute they're eating some trees. Uh, moving the tractor, people think that uh, going to break their feet when you move the tractor. The only thing that's touching the ground when I move the tractor is the very end of it, you know. And as soon as they see me, they come running, they're always up in the front anyway. So I'm not concerned about that. It's not like it's dragged flat on the ground. It's lifted up. 99% of it is totally off the ground. It would be almost impossible. Almost impossible you got to be careful you know you, you can't be stupid about this stuff you have to be careful it is but it is possible but very unlikely to get their feet caught uh, why did I go with chain link like I said in the build video I had no choice you know I, I actually there's one guy uh, a Thai guy who uh, sent me some links for websites where you can get uh, I think they actually have chicken wire too, but some real, uh, real wire, for, uh, galvanized wire for making cages and that. It's all in Thai, but it is available. The only problem with it, you gotta buy a hundred foot roll. This is eight feet long cage, you know. It's uh, rather expensive, but it is available in in Bangkok for the right price, which is good, and I I thank him for. Uh, for hooking me up. Uh, I've said many times, everything is available in Thailand, but good luck finding it. It is really hard to find stuff here. And uh, what else? One, not enough, uh, not enough protection. Uh, in, one was not enough protection for rain. Four walls and a roof, that's better than half the houses in this part of the world, you know? <laughs> what, what more do you want? Pontoons? <laughs> Come on. Uh, predators. Because I got the plastic roof on there. Uh, we don't have possums. We don't have raccoons. We don't have foxes. And one was vultures or raptors or something like that. No, we don't have those either. At all. The only real predator we have, there are little ox. Uh, but they're small and they wouldn't be able to pick up a full grown uh, a full-size rabbit they can get young chickens and stuff they're, they're quite small and here at the house it's never been an issue you do see them fly over once in a while but uh, I've had tons and tons of baby chickens in the yard and baby ducks and I don't worry about them uh, we do have cats cats can be a problem and another one is snakes uh, I've never lost a bird to a snake. Did lose a few eggs. A couple years ago I had a snake stealing eggs. Look at that, just relaxing, taking it easy. But you know, you gotta look at it in 
terms of the environment, what works for you. Everywhere is different. Every situation is different, you know. Because you have foxes don't mean everywhere in the world has a problem with foxes. There was one lady who left a copy and paste comment. There's lots of good information in there. It's mostly set up for uh, pet rabbits and rabbits in the house and stuff like that. But there is a lot of good information in that. So, you know, with the comments, a lot, a lot of crazy, ridiculous, insane comments. But like everything, like with the fish, there's always that one or two percent of the comments that are very, very helpful. Like the Thai guy who woke me up at the wire and uh, the lady with all the information, yeah, it was a copy and paste, she probably puts it on a thousand rabbit videos. But you know, there's a good information in there and it's worth the read. <laughs> you know, especially for somebody like me who's new to rabbits. Uh, I don't take this lightly. I, you know, I do my research. I've watched tons and tons of rabbit videos. But when I got these, it, you know, like everything, it happened. Spurred at a moment. I've never seen them available before. They were there. I had no choice. If I'm ever going to have rabbits, I had to take them. Was I ready for it? No. Why would I have a rabbit tractor built when I couldn't buy rabbits? You know, they weren't available. <coughs> Okay, let's go take a look inside. Here's where they hang out. There's their food bowl. It's empty, of course, because uh, I only feed them rabbit pellets at night. Hello, little guy. I did put a piece of plywood. That was another thing. They got a piece of plywood to sit on, and I'll be honest with you, only time they sit on there is when I put food in the bowl. I've never seen them any other time they think they're getting food now I've never seen them use it but it's there if they want to I should put it across the end this way that way because the only thing that's touching and the only way they could get her, their feet hurt when moving it is if they put their foot in the hole closest to the end hello I just put this. I just put this piece in here. This is uh, well, it goes by many names. One of the English names is horse turmeric. It's what I feed my goats majority. This is the one I gave them about two hours ago. No, about an hour ago when I moved the tractor. I gave them this one. Let's see what they do with it. Huh? They skin it right down like the goats do. Stand it up for him. Uh, I'm gonna start giving them frozen water bottles. It's getting hot again. It was the the temperature was good for a few days, and in the morning today it was uh, quite nice and cool. But it's getting hot now, and it's it's still early, so it's gonna be a hot day. I have a bottle in the freezer, so I'll be giving them frozen water bottles uh, starting today. Make them more comfortable. They don't seem to be growing. To me, they're not really growing. I got feeders and waters on order, but they're not here. I didn't find, like pet stores and that, I didn't find any water, any uh, feeders, and the waters were, you know, like 100 milliliters or something tiny, you know. Absolutely useless. Didn't need two each. Hello. That's pretty cool. So I got some on order. They'll be here when they get here. You know, I don't, I don't see where these animals are being abused in any way. And if you think they are, and you think I'm a horrible person because of it, <laughs> just move along and watch somebody else's videos, man. Like, like seriously, I don't have time for your uh, insane comments. But if you like this, stick around, there'll be more updates. I think they're very cool. Uh, but they are a challenge, you know? It's a, it's something new. So it's a challenge, you gotta figure out what they want, what they need. And because what works in one place don't mean it's gonna work somewhere else. That's for sure. And sexing them. 
<laughs> I think they're all girls. I do believe they're all girls. I'm just gonna leave them alone for a while and check again later, but uh, to me they all look they look like all girls. That might be a problem. Oh, and one person said that they're not meat rabbits. I don't know if they're right or not, or how you can tell from a video. And they, they might be right, you never know. They're sold as white New Zealand meat rabbits. Don't bite me. Be nice to keep them this calm, huh? And get a full size rabbit. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they're abused. They're really, really abused. <laughs> Look at this. The dogs are finally getting used to them, I think. They don't seem to bother them so much now, but... The dogs were not impressed when I first put them in this tractor, that's for sure. Mm, hello. I think that's it, guys. The rabbits are doing good. So far, so good. It is a learning experience, no doubt about it. Where have you been? They know I'm the one who brings them the food. When they see me, they come running. They know. How cute is that, huh? Need to make a rabbit cam. <laughs> but uh, temperature is going to be an issue here, that's for sure. We know that with rabbits, temperature is a problem and it's hot here. But uh, the pet rabbits do good. My neighbor had pet rabbits for a long time. And they did all right. I don't know, they might even still have them, I don't know. Cool. All right guys, well that's it. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs> It's time you guys get bigger. Huh?